everybody. This is Gail, the Happy Stamper. Thanks for checking in with me today. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are snowed in here on the East Coast, my friends, and uh, we are really supposed to get a doozy of a storm today. They're talking about power outages and... Um, Oh, gosh, this is going to be a big one. So uh, say a prayer for all of us out here on the East Coast. They're talking feet and feet of snow and major shutdowns, and I'm hoping the power stays on um, so all the food doesn't spoil. But anyways, I just wanted to say hi and get this uploaded before I lose my Internet connection. Um, and yesterday I saw a really cute Eltoid box that was altered by Mary. Um, and she's at Card Crazy 09. I love Mary. Everybody knows who she is. She's just the bomb. Um, but I wanted to share with you an altered Altoid box that I had made. Now, I had done this previously, um, but it was really very cute. So save your Altoid boxes because, like she said, there is so much you could do with these, and there's just, why waste them, you know? Okay. <clears throat> so this is the one I made. And I put a little handle on it with just some grow grain ribbon, black and white checkered ribbon from Stampin' Up. And this is a shopping survival kit. Woohoo! You guys know, well, we're all such shoppers. But this is an old Stampin' Up set that I had. It was called like Groovy Girl or something. And I just put some brads on it. And it says, I'd rather be shopping. And I just used my, um, circle cutting system from Stamping Up, I'm sorry, from Creative Memories. And I will give you the dimensions. It is three and three quarters long by two and a quarter wide. And then I used just black on this one and I just rounded the corners like so. And this is a Creative Memories corner rounder that I have had. So three and three quarters by two and a quarter. I added a little ribbon. And I did that through, I hope you can see, but there's these little slits up here um, where the hinges are. And that's what I did. I put it through there to kind of make it like a cute little purse. All right. And then inside, I just knotted it. These are just little knots. I hope you can see that. They're just little knots. But inside, because every girl needs a shopping survival kit, I've got a little... Um, antibacterial wipe and you got to have a little Jolly Rancher when you need your little perk up of some sugar and I've got a stick of gum you have to have fresh breath and a toothpick if you go out to lunch <coughs> and this is just a portion of a little mini nail file just in case you get a little snag and then I also put up in here um, a little, this is an Oral-B, it's a brush up, you like brush your teeth with it. So that is so stinking cute. I love it. So that is my little shopping survival kit made from an Altoids box. And Mary made a really, really cute ABC um, alphabet card holder. So really, save your Altoids because there is so much you can do with these. They're so cute. Um, and here's just another example with a little handle of a shopping survival kit. So I hope everybody um, can get to working on one of these cute little things. And I hope everyone has a safe next couple days. They are talking about two days. Two days of this, and it's pretty bad. It's coming down. Um, holy cats. Anyways, guys, so that's an el altered Altoid box. Save your Altoid boxes. I save mine all the time, and uh, see what you can come up with. All right, guys, thanks for checking in with the Happy Stamper. If you don't hear from me for a few days... You know why. We, we're really getting clobbered out here on the East Coast. So I'm, I'm hoping I can stay online, but I'm kind of thinking that's not going to happen. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.